Hi everyone, and thank you so much for coming back to my channel or coming to my channel for the first time. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a balloon column with no stand under $7 from the Dollar Tree. All right, what you're gonna need is 16 pink balloons or 16 solid color balloons. Two packs of those because they come in packs of 15. All right, you're also gonna need your confetti balloons. All right, these from the Dollar Tree come in a pack of six. So I went on ahead and got three packs of those to get my 16 that I needed. Some curling ribbon, your balloon weight, all right? Now, you can blow up your balloons with your own breath or you, if you have a hand pump, that's fine too. For me, it's easier to use a balloon pump like the one I have here and I got this one off of Amazon. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First step is blowing up the balloon. I like to blow up two balloons at a time so I can go ahead and tie them together. That is completely optional. Some people like to blow them at one at a time because this right here is automated. That right there is automated. So as soon as you press down, it's gonna start to blow. Just like that. All right, so you want them around the same size, so I'm gonna let some air out of this one in a round shape. And then I'm going to make sure that they're the same size. All right, once that's done, I'm just gonna tie them together. Not. And I'm just going to use these two as a blueprint for the rest of my balloons. Alright, so once you've blown all your balloons up and tied them off in pairs, now we're about to make the quad, okay? So you take two balloons, and like I said, I realized I got a small pack of confetti and a large pack of confetti, but they're still going to look cute, okay? So what you want to do is you want to take them and you crisscross them, okay? All right, then you want to wrap each one of them around twice. So I'm going to wrap. So I'm going to wrap this one around. This one. This one around this one. All right, and once I've wrapped them around, then I want the confetti on the opposite side and the solid on the opposite side of each other. So they should end up looking like that. Okay, and you're just gonna do that to all of them. your pairs another pair we're going to start with our weight or with our base so you're going to take your string and your weight and you're going to tie it to the bottom i like to tie about three knots just to make sure that it's secure because everything your whole column is going to pull from this base and i'm just going to tie another one all right, cut off that excess end and we are secure. All right, so I'm going to take my quad, set it directly on top. I'm going to pull my ribbon through and then I'm just going to wrap it around each balloon, making sure that I pull as tightly through each one as possible. Possible. All right, and that 
is our base. That's the first one. All right, then you get another quad. All right, this is how we do the spiral. So my big confetti is right here. So I'm just gonna set it in the middle of the next one. Take my string in the middle and I'm gonna wrap it around the top and the bottom, the one underneath it. Pull it as tight as possible. Again, that's the one up top and the one down bottom. Make a strap pull as tight as possible all the way through. All right, the top and the one on the bottom. Two layers, and we're just gonna keep going. And then you wanna get the one up top, and then you want to get the one below it. Okay, the one on top, make sure you pull tight, and the one. The one below. 